guys! I'm Rachel from the art and DIY YouTube channel Cheslin, and today I'm here to show you guys what's inside the July Art Snacks box. If you don't already know, Art Snacks is a monthly subscription box to art supplies, so if you're interested in checking them out, then there'll be a link down below. So, let's open this thing up! First, there's the Elite Synthetic Kolinsky Sable Brush by Princeton Brush. It looks, feels, and performs like a traditional sable mink brush, but the bristles are synthetic. The handles have a velvet touch finish that makes them super comfortable to hold. This brush is designed to work with watercolors, which leads us to... A tube of Core Watercolor by Golden. These have the best qualities of traditional watercolors, but also have a bigger range and there are more versatile colors. They're made with a special binding agent that carries more pigment in each brush stroke, giving you richer colors than any watercolor you've used before. The next item in the box is Yupo watercolor paper. This stuff is super interesting. The paper is non-porous and water resistant, so it gives you way more working time with the paint, and you can even wipe it clean after you've laid down paint. Of course, since it doesn't absorb water, it will take a little bit longer for your paint strokes and pen marks to dry, but the effects you can achieve with this paper are awesome. And then there's a small container of the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver by General Pencil. I actually own this stuff and I absolutely love it, so I'm super excited for you guys to be able to try it out. After painting, just run your brush under water and rub the bristles into the soap, alternating that until the lather is clear. Besides being a great brush cleaner, this stuff can take old brushes with caked on paint and restore them back into usable brushes. And lastly, there's the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica Rollerball Pen. It has a tungsten carbide roller tip that gives you a consistent fine line with archival water resistant ink. It's also designed not to dry out if you leave it uncapped during a drawing session, so you don't need to worry about recapping it every time you put it down. Did you get the July Art Snacks box? What did you think of it? Leave a comment down below. Not subscribed to Art Snacks? Go check them out at artsnacks.co. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one. And if you're interested, click now to see the artwork that I made with the stuff from this box.